Hello, I'm Matt Guff from House.com. This is Jason Henderson from Burton Snowboards. This is a Driver X, this is an Ion, and that is an SLX, and we're going to walk you through their similarities and differences. Jason, welcome back to Minneapolis. Yeah, yeah uh, we are here at the Burton Minneapolis store in Uptown Minneapolis, and uh, Jason is walking us through a lot of different products here from Burton for the 2020 season. We just kind of wrapped up boots. Feels mm -hmm. good. There's a lot of good boots in the line. Yep. And we, we kind of want to give good, it's a great boot mm -hmm. year. And we wanted to showcase some of the top tier boots that uh, a lot of people have kind of uh, interest in, but they're not sure which one to get. Uh, we have the Driver X again, we have the Ion, and then the SLX. Mm -hmm. what, what is going on with these three radical boots? Well, I mean, once you get up into this level, I mean, you, it's really like there's a lot of differences in what you want out of a boot. Like, it's mm -hmm. you know, what kind of riding are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, if you want something that's really stiff, something that's going to, um, you know, if you're doing a lot of big mountain riding where you're, you know, need something that's stiff to cut through all the, the chop and chunder and, you know, you're ripping turns on groomers and you basically want, you know, if you got maybe even a ankle problems where, you know, right. uh, that's where something like a driver X, you know, this is the stiffest boot in the line, you know, probably the stiffest boot in snowboarding. <laughs> like this thing really uh, is really stiff. Right. Um, so if you're driving these really big stiff camber boards, you know, mm -hmm. you know the, the driver X could be a, a good choice there. Right. Um, just because of the, the backstay, you know, it's almost got a, you know, it's got, got such a huge, you know, tall rubber backstay. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a high back built into the boot yeah. almost. <laughs> you know, nice, uh, same toe cap as, you know, similar toe cap to the Ion. So it's, you know, that's not gonna give there, you know, for trudging around, it's got the Vibram Eco Step, or, you know, outsole. Right. Um, so that's definitely the, the stiffest boot in the line. Right. So. And uh, we were talking just yesterday about uh, this is probably the only boot you could ride without high backs. <laughs> we we might actually. We, backs, yeah, 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 yeah. But you could ride this one without high backs and not notice much of a difference. Right. <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to try to test that this yeah. year. Some, somehow we'll take some high backs off and just yep. go rip groomers on with the, with the driver X. Yep. So different liner set up too with uh, here you get the, three, the imprint 3X. Uh, versus the standard imprint three liner, you know, real similar. It just got a little bit more support, a little taller panels uh, right. on there. Um, it does have, you know, just like the other imprint three stuff. It's got the dry ride heat cycle on the tongue and in the back there to kind of regulate your body temperature. Also grip your sock, hold your foot in there, right. and then also the um, the footbed with the the nice, you know, stiffer support in the arch right. and the heel. Um, mm -hmm. So you know, different price points, but you know, these are these are very you know, very unique boots in their in their own their own way. So it's really, really stiff there. And then uh, this one's cuffed. The internal piece that uh, tightens around the liner seems to be a little bit more built up than what you'll find in these two boots. Um, actually, no. It'll be this. It's Similar. called the yeah. It's called the tough cuff. Okay. So the Ion um, has the has the tough cuff in it okay. as well. So what that is versus like our standard imprint three cuffs, uh, it does have an extra layer of thermal plastic, so it actually d will mold and break into the shape of your the bone structure in your in your feet. And also, it's just straight up stiffer and offers you know more support. Right. right. So, then we have this one. Uh, this is a team favorite, the Ion. Not not as stiff. It's kind of in the in I, th I think isn't it in the middle. Is it stiffer than it's stiffer than the SLX? It'll be stiffer than the SLX. Right. Yeah. So this would be like right. this is the stiffest boot in the line. This right. is the next stiffest. This is the standard iron. SLX. Um, yeah. Then you down. yeah. Then you kind of get into the right. into there. So um, just be, just because something is higher end in price doesn't necessarily mean it's stiffer. Right. You know, at least within our line. Mm -hmm. You know. So, but the ion is a you know a team favorite. You know, guys that are going you know huge off of jumps, pipes. You know, a lot, a lot of pipe riders ride that boot. You know, guys that are you know putting the landing gear down, they want something. They don't want that boot to buckle. They want all that you know, all that energy to go into their their edges. So it's gonna have a pretty mellow, pretty mellow outsole. And it's not the it's yep. not the Vibram, so it's no. not really for hiking around. You can still hike. But well, yeah, it's still got deep enough. It's you know, it is our re uh, recycled reground rubber. You right. know, we do that in all of our all of our boots. Um, but it does have a pretty unique uh, cushioning system. So it is a softer density foam on the inside versus the outside. So you get a little bit more, it allows the, the cushion, that's why it's different colors. You right. see it white on the outside, gray on the inside. I like that. So it just kind of calls out, it's just uh, allows your foot to kind of roll in right. a little bit more. Right. Auto, okay. ESC auto camp? Uh, this is the EST sole. So that's what kind of differentiates, um, you know, makes this unique within these three boots is that this has the EST sole. 
uh, which means it's a flat sole. There's no drop. Like, dry, right? like a skate shoe, yeah, where these, uh, where the SLX and the Driver X have that six degree ramp sole, kind of right. like a, you know, like a cross trainer shoe or running right. shoe or something right. like that. So depending on what you're, you know, you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is a fairly rugged boot though. You know, you have that, oh, yeah. that rubberized or plastic style toe cap, mm -hmm. nice uh, heel counter, of course, and then the same cuff as you, what you find. Yeah, the tough cuff place. in there, power up tongues, you see that in a lot of our boots too. Uh, what that is is just an extra insert inside the tongue, um, an extra layer of uh, thermoplastic, again, adding you know, some stiffness and rigidity right. you know, to and the they, boot. They both feature uh, the same footbed? Same footbed, from, uh, but then you go to uh, the Lifeliners, right. so, which is a, you know, a definitely a bigger step up. Um, they, it does have, you know, from the, basically on the outer part here, it is the highest quality EVA, heat moldable EVA available. So right. there's different levels out there. This is the highest quality you can get. So uh, we do perforate it as well. So mm -hmm. um, it does kind of, you know, create more circulation in there. Air circulation keeps right. your foot drier. You don't get that swamp foot. Um, a little extra cushioning on the bottom. Uh, the tongue. I really like that feature, actually. Yeah. Just Especially if you're, if you're hitting gigantic jumps, you have this awesome outsole, uh, mid, and then your B3 gel, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have additional shock yeah. absorbing properties in the base of the, the yeah. liner? Like, yeah, if you need to, you know, if you're in a hotel room at the resort and you need to walk out and get a candy bar or something, the vending machine. Right. <laughs> yeah. Slip them on. Yeah, they're not good for moonwalking, though, I found. No? Out, you know. uh, they're just sick. a little too, too grippy. grippy. Yeah. Can't moonwalk them. So, but that's not why you buy the boot. <laughs> right. So, another thing, too, is a tongue. Uh, we use um, set uh, kind of open cell foam, so okay. on the inside. So, what, something we used in some of our old Infinite Ride liners, you remember mm -hmm. those foam liners? Um, but what that does, we put it in the tongue, it adds a lot of rebound. It just makes the, the liner a lot more lively. And also over time, the liner stays, you know, mm. you know does have a lot of rebound. So, Not soggy. Yeah, it makes it last a lot longer. Cool. So, and one thing I've noticed too is that with the Life Liner, it seems to have just a little bit more room in the toe box here. Does it? Mm -hmm. You'd say more so than the imprint series? Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm, cool. So, that's just what I've noticed. I mean, I've, I kind of, you know, Try them all, but you know the boots that I ride have the Lifeliner in it, and it seems to work well for me because I like that. So. Right now, there's a similar liners uh, from the Ion uh, into the SLX. Now these yeah. are both Lifeliners, but this is the Life Plus. There's uh, yep. two major differences. So the main differences between the Plus, the Lifeliner and Plus, is that you have a little the, the entire liner in the plus is that dry ride heat cycle yes. versus the, the, the tongue and the, the heel area. So you got more dry ride heat cycle, um, but then, you know, one of the main features is, you know, a nicer footbed yet. Yeah. So um, just, uh, you know, better support, better cushioning, you know, in the heel, that sort of thing. So just right. uh, kind of the next right. next step in. Right. Great liners, thermal heat moldable. Yep. But then there's the shell. This thing uh, is probably, Okay, for boots that have a really nice visual appeal, I yeah. like the white ruler boa, mm -hmm. and, I, and I really love the Imperio, the gray Imperio with like yep. that teal color or whatever. Well, even the color. black and white. I'm, I'm a sucker for black and white, which yeah. is why I like this too. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's, and then there's yeah. this one. This, this kind of makes me feel like this is going to be a collector's item someday because yeah. it looks just so yep. dang fresh. What's up with the SLX? So one? then you go to the SLX. Um, it's definitely, I'd, out of these three boots, it is the softest of them. Okay. So, but like I said, just just because it's more expensive doesn't necessarily mean right. it's stiffer. Right. And when you say soft, it's still stiffer than your average. Oh, boot. yeah. It's still, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's there's but guys on the team stiff. that ride these boots. Yeah. You know, they don't yeah. they don't want anything quite as stiff as a, an iron, but they want that, you know, they like the ramp sole, um, right. you know, like Terrier and those guys, like, you know, they like this boot. Mm -hmm. Um, but this has that ultra weave construction, so you know you see that on a lot of like running shoes, things like that. What it does is it reduces paneling. So anytime you have like a panel here, it's got to be stitched, and um, you know which increases the weight and things like that. Um, so and this has this new, this new Carbotex material in the in that kind of high impact area. So it's basically carbon material uh, molded in with the um, with the ultra weave. So, and then these key areas right here is where the strap sits and there's a lot of, you know, pressure there that evens out the pressure. Even over time, it keeps that, you know, that, that buckle from digging in. Right. Uh, breaking like down, down, breaking the down the materials. Right. Yeah. So, it also has an articulated cuff, which is a big, uh, a big thing. So having the, the top part of the cuff 
you know, uh, separate from the bottom, it allows for a smoother forward flex. Right. So when you go to like a boot that has a, an articulated cuff, mm -hmm. and you really drive that toe edge, it's, it, it pivots, but it also, it also like, seems like it gives you more progressive heel cool. anchor. It uh, kind of moves your foot back into the boot as you turn. Cool, cool. And now the, the only other boot within the line that features articulation is uh, another ultra weave construction boot, the Swath, right? Uh, yep, swath. Yeah. Right, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I've always enjoyed our, uh, articulation. Uh, around 2010, I rode the hell out of the SLXs. Mm -hmm. I love I love the articulation so much, and such a good feel, but still responsive. Yep, just really yeah, nice. So, cool. Now, who do you think, uh, the, or what board do you think the ideal rider on one of these boots would probably would probably wear? So, I mean, it's kind of like. Again, depending on where you're riding, but I would say, you know, this is going to be like, you know, bigger custom cambers, custom X, right. you know, um, leaderboard. Cool. You know, those really just stiff, you know, hauling ass boards. Got it. You know, if you're a bigger guy, you know, you want something, you know, I'd say. Mm -hmm. And then I'd say if you want to, you know, step down from that as far as stiffness, not step down in fit or whatever, right. then uh, Ion would be, okay. you know, Leaderboard, you know, any of the, the family tree stuff, hometown hero, right. you know, custom. Um, custom, flight attendant. Right. Yeah, it's just, it's really what you what you like. Cool. You know, then, you know, obviously here would be custom, custom X, if you want something. Just Top two. Yeah. Yeah. So. Something mysterious. Yep, something mysterious. Right. Cool. Well, these are really nice boots, and you know, again, we want to showcase some of the top tier boots, uh, the Ion SLX and the Driver X. Mm -hmm. If you could choose one, which one would you choose again? You said this one. I'd probably say I just for me personally, is I, I really like the EST outsole. Yeah. I like just that. That makes the right. most difference to me as far as how things feel. Right. Right. I think you know, uh, the rider. I tell myself that I'm gonna be yeah. more and more is uh, on the driver X, but I know like when you ride that hard all the time, you just, you just get beat down. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'll probably, I would probably move into something. I'd probably move into Ion just because that EST sole. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I rode a, a boot with a, a drop sole or a, a elevated heel mm -hmm. and uh, it felt like I was, I had turbo boosters on or something, man, mm -hmm. especially on that heel side edge. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this one, this one's dope. But yeah. well, this comes in a leather version too, which is um, yes. And well, one thing what, what, what worth mentioning, I guess, is the leather version. It's you know it's full grain leather. There's yeah. no plastic toe box, so it's it's a touch wider in the toe box, which would fit me personally better. Cool. Um, but the once the leather breaks in, um, it's just a little softer than it's a touch softer than the standard ion. Wow. So kind yeah. of buttery soft. Is it brown? It's brown leather, right? It's, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Jason, thanks so much for being here and walking yeah. through uh, this wonderful setup of boots. Again, this is the Driver X Ion and the SLX uh, for 2020 from Burton that you can check out by selecting the link below in the description. Leave a comment or a question. Let us know what you think. And uh, if you have any questions, we'll do our best to try to get them over to Jason for you. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe there. Check out more vids there. And hopefully we'll see you guys on snow. Peace.